Next pitch, belt high on the outer edge of the plate for a strike. Zirkel off and running for home. She is safe. Morgan Zirkel steals home after the pitch. Two stolen bases now for Zirkel in the game and a run on the... Next one, bunt attempt popped up from a coin. That is caught by McCord. She'll throw down to first in time to get the double play. Samantha Loose came over quickly to read it. Outfielders as well, a couple steps back. Next pitch, swing and a miss. Jordan Dixon say hello to 600 strikeouts. Warren digs back into the batter's box. Burdett gets the next sign. Change up drops in there for strike three. Woodson winds delivered. Zirkle's gonna line a bullet over into the gap in right center field. Zirkle rounds first. She's gonna round second. She's headed for third. She's gonna slide in safely with a triple. Payoff pitch coming inside, swing and a miss. 700 strikeouts now in the career for Jordan Dixon and it comes at a big time as it leaves three runners on base for the Red. Loose lines one right over short. That's gonna go all the way back to the gap in left center field. Loose rounds first, she's headed for second and she will come in standing up for her seventh double of the season. with the four to one lead, one out, no runners on. Next pitch, Zirkle gets a hold of this one, sends it deep to center field, look up and say goodbye. Morgan Zirkle puts it back to a four run lead with a blast out to center field. Her third career home run. Next pitch inside, that one's popped up into the air. Durazio chasing it back, it lays out and makes the over the shoulder grab. An unbelievable catch from Durazio. Not too many shortstops in the country can make that kind of a play. It actually, probably actually should have been caught by the left fielder. Jordan Cauliflower was right there, but Durazio calling for it. Runs back and lays out back into left field. Makes a fantastic grab for out number two. Ellis is going to rope one into center field. That one's going to drop in and get past a diving Griffin into center field. Ellis comes through with a double. Her first hit of her career sliding in safely is Escarano. McCord scored first. Escarano from first to home. Get some more insurance runs on the board. Garazio lines this one off into left field. That's going to go all the way over the head of Zavodny. Rounding second and headed for third is Maddie Marshall. She's going to come home. Alicia Garazio slides in head first safely with a triple. Grazio hitting 300 this season. She's going to line one into left field. That's going to drop in just fair. She's going to round first with the speed. She's headed for second. Slides in head first. And she is safe. What can McQuillan do here? Get Arizona out of the jam. Takes some speed off of it and Dice sends it deep. Look up and say goodbye. Grand slam. Brianna Dice sends it deep to left center field. And the Thundering Herd take the lead at 4 to 0.
Next pitch, that one's gonna go through the five, six hole into left field, Cauliflower picks it up. She's gonna gun it for home rounding on around and throw is in time. Williams trying to score, Cauliflower guns her out at home. And she's gonna receive a bunch of high fives on her way back to the dugout. Next pitch to Loveridge, outside, off and running is Lawrence and she is gunned out. Taylor McCord is now your single season record holder in Marshall softball history for most thrown out would-be base dealers. The previous record was 15, held by Rachel Folden, set back in 2005. Estrada, she's gonna pull back and slap one over top of the infield. It'll drop into center field. Abigail Estrada with her first career hit. at the plate. Proctor winds and delivers. Marshall gets a hold of it, sends it deep to left field, going back by the fence and just off the top of the fence. Lucas scores from second. Escarina will slide into third. Maddie Marshall with a double. That ball was about two feet from a home run and all Marshall needed was just the one run and the game is on. Tolbert gets the sign from McCord. Glove slap. Next pitch taken. Strike three. Abigail Tolbert with her first career strikeout in a Thundering Herd uniform. She gets Overstreet to take strike three and go down for the first out of the inning. Ellis gets a hold of it, lifts it deep off into left center field. Look up and say goodbye. Hayden Ellis with her first career home run. It is a two run bomb and the Thundering Herd take the lead. Eight to four, I can see that smile from here. Hayden Ellis with a double and a bomb today. Dixon getting the sign from McCord. Glove slap pitch on the way inside, taken strike three. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jordan Dixon is now your new all-time career strikeout leader in Marshall softball history, passing Andy Williamson with her 732nd career strikeout. The USA Women's National Elite Team getting to play with some of the best players in the country and in the world this summer, but what can she do here? Lays down a bunt, just barely stays fair. The throw to first, not in time. Crossing the plate is Jordan Cauliflower. A walk-off bunt single from Morgan Zirkel. And that is the end of your ball game. Morgan Zirkel mobbed by her teammates after they first jump and lift Jordan Cauliflower into the air. The Thundering Herd get the win one to zero in the bottom of the seventh inning.